So um, let me define cybersecurity and the state of cybersecurity and why it is important. You know, so we are in a in a in a state where there's a lot of geopolitical uh, you know conflicts and and there's a lot of you know state uh, sponsored attacks which are very sophisticated in nature. And you know there are there are hackers backed by you know militaries, you know by governments, and there are you know some hackers who are doing it for money. But in this current scenario, there is a lot of lot of uh, you know uh, state sponsored uh, hacking that is happening, targeted uh, hacking that is happening, and phishing that is happening. And let me tell you an example, like for a layman, I always tell this when I'm giving talking to our 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 colleagues, our friends, uh, you know, across uh, organizations. Uh, uh, and, and what I say is that if you're walking on a road and somebody on the road asks you, you know, to give give them the, your social security number or, you know, show them your credit card and they say, I just want to see which bank card you have or, you know, your driving license, you would never take out your wallet and give it, hand it over to them, correct? You will, you will, you will say, you know, I don't know you, so I would not give it to you. You know, you you, you know, you, your your wallet has a lot of lot of financial, personal PCI information. So you would never do that. Then why do you give it when somebody sends you a unsolicited mail, right? Correct. If you don't know the person, you you I we always say you know trust but verify because uh, if I'm talking to you nowadays, we have a lot of connected devices. You know, Google is hearing you. Uh, you know. Um, Amazon Alexa is hearing you, uh, Siri is hearing you, right? And and that message that is being actually shared with multiple people. So now, if we are talking about cybersecurity, and and you know, I address you as uh, Senate or 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 or, or Venus, uh, you know, I'm going to get an email, you know, for someone saying that you know Venus has sent a mail so and so. So uh, it looks very real. You know, the domains are being spooked. However they want to steal your money you know they want to steal your information they want to hurt you they are spiritual right i always say uh, hackers are very spiritual in nature because they don't care what your religion is where you are from <laughs> you know their their only job is to cause cause harm okay in terms of you know destruction in terms of agony in terms of monetary losses okay so there are various forms of uh, uh, so I, I always say, uh, in today's where, uh, world where, you know, there's a lot of economic crisis, microeconomics headwinds going on. So the first we need to understand, you know, what is our actual threat? Who are we, like, who can actually, who is there to harm me personally or my organization, okay? So, so it could be a competitor. It could be, you know, a... Uh, uh, you know, a, a country that does not like you, or you know, wants to hurt a sector that is really bad. You can, you can, you can see how the Serbian friends are going after, you know, the Ukraine and and their, uh, you know, uh, 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 IT infrastructure. That their, you know, uh, colonial pipeline was a great example. Uh, you know, so so you you do do not really know where you are where who is your enemy so first you need to identify who do you actually as a group as an organization as as a body uh you know uh have you know is 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 going to is potentially going to hurt you okay that's number one. Second is you need to build a zero trust you know uh security framework now what do i mean by zero trust security framework a zero trust is basically in a layman term, trust, but verify. Give access to a person, to an application that actually they need access to, okay? And that that is pretty much it. And how zero trust architecture works is that you put all your, your all your IT assets, you know, all your, your, your domain controllers, your workstations, your PCs behind a proxy, and which is a secure proxy, like Zscaler is one of the examples. There are many other vendors in the market. Uh, and and uh, and what you do is that basically you pretty much hide your asset behind them and they have multiple blades 
you know they have malware protection they have uh, you know uh, uh, they have ransomware protection they have uh, ips ids and so many other other security model ssl inspection that basically filters all your traffic all your organization or your, all your personal traffic uh, that is going you know from your organization to the external world so basically um, yeah so yeah, Shankar, to, a, i want to i want to ask you a question so mm. um we're talking about on the organization level uh mm. for example at work at the courthouse we always have the security um uh you know training and the, the mm. organization okay. Uh, is okay. responsible for doing stuff like for but what about um uh you know small businesses how can they protect themselves are you saying they have to uh, okay. buy some kind of program that's okay. there to secure okay. their data okay 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 see i always there are there is a very famous uh uh you know um uh, what do you say uh, an an acronym or it's a, it's an abbreviation or i'll say it is called pub okay a small organization needs to do pub and they need to do kiss so what is pub a smaller you need to patch you know your your devices you need to be on the latest patch windows patching make sure all your devices are patched ios mobile 16.1 is there it has a zero day vulnerability so they are going to come up with a patch okay ah. or a hot fix so you need to get this is the current you know a couple of 48 hours back they apple released the advisory that the latest code and you know any phone iphone 8 and above is actually vulnerable to you know external exploit exploit ah. so you need to be on the latest patch that your vendor is providing the second rule for a small business is do not open unsolicited attachments or emails okay that's a you in the pub and the mm -hmm. third is backup take backup which is detached okay not connected because if somebody hacks into your system and you have 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 something that is connected you know to your to your 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 a network they are going to go after that as well so what i do is that every 3 months i I have my backup on my 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 OneDrive, so I actually have a external drive, a detached external drive. It's a very old-fashioned model, but that is what you need to do. I take complete backup out of my OneDrive and I move it to 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 my detached backup. So it is it is like an island where no one knows, no one no one knows it exists. But anything on your network is difficult for a small, uh, uh, you know, business. Yeah. You need to do pub. Uh, pub, uh, which is you know patching, do not open unsolicited attachments, and you know continuously back uh, mm -hmm. back up your data. It could be OneDrive, it could be Google Drive, because Google Drive, OneDrive, it's difficult because you know they 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 have a bit of protection. OneDrive says that if you get hit by a ransomware, we can protect you. Okay, from from you know so so I'm just trying to make it easier than yeah. you know everyone buying, uh, buying an external drive. Okay, that's rule number one. And and what you need to do is when you are not backing up, just log off from your OneDrive. You do not always have it connected. Okay, so my OneDrive, one, one, whenever I need need it to be backed up, I I I keep I switch it on. Otherwise, it's in a locked off position because you don't have to back up things twenty four by seven, isn't it? It 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 consumes bandwidth, and it costs money as well, right? So for data 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 transfers. That's so, amazing. I didn't know that. Those are really, really amazing. Uh, right. And, you know, and, and, and tips. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, so that is, that is uh, uh, one thing. And, you know, always trust and verify if somebody is coming into your system, into your office, you have to have basic controls. You know, you have to have auto, you know, screen savers. You need to have, you know, a computer getting logged in at 15 minutes. That's what missed 853 uh says you know when it goes to you know you know your NIST standard says you know it says uh identify protect uh you know respond recover and uh what is the other one um uh yeah so they have the five uh uh you know uh uh what do i say right uh, in the in the uh, csf these yeah. are the five things you need to need to do so so uh so basically um yeah, uh, identify, detect, protect, 
respond and recover. Okay, so I just, yeah. <laughs> I just think now I lost maybe early morning. So, however, <laughs> yeah. so so just keep it simple, stupid. They say red kiss, keep it simple, stupid. Right. So you know you just have to do the simple things. Okay. So right. when when whenever iOS patches comes, I make sure that all my iPads, iPhones get updated okay yes. every time a mac os comes i update it we okay. in, in, a, in a small organization there has to be an it whose number one job is to patch because there's a lot of zero day vulnerabilities coming you know uh uh ransomware is a is a, is a billions of dollars you know uh business yeah. it's huge amount money uh, uh and 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 now i'm just telling you now organizations are not pretty much doing winning this this criminals information is very easily available because uh, yeah. the other other important thing is identity management and access control okay yeah. in a small organization what I, what I, what I suggest users and you can suggest users to do is they should you know have unique passwords set for their business accounts and lo- many times you know when they are going to a forum or they are going to a to a to some external website where it's asking for your company name and asking you to set your password uh, use a unique password okay do not use the same password you know celebrities do this right you know when they're signing autographs their password is meaning that their signature is different from what they sign on the checkbook okay oh, wow. so they, yeah, yeah so they keep different yeah. they keep different yeah i mean yes yeah uh so uh, meaning you you all you don't want to you know somebody to nowadays you know you have have so much of 3D printing and technology has gone so 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 at, at a level where you know your signature can be pretty much used, uh, yeah. you know, to, yeah. if they get access to your your uh, to some checks or something, you know, if they you you're, you're pretty much done, you know, you might be yeah. traveling on getting a tour and getting sophisticated, yeah, we're getting sophisticated. So yeah. keep it very simple. These are all very simple things you need to do, and, and for small yeah. business, as I said, yeah, make That's... sure you're patched. Yeah. Make sure users are trained continuously and, against yeah. phishing. Phishing yeah. training has to be continuously given, and there has to be some level of you know you can you, you can always try to uh, send some phishing campaigns to the to to the users. You know there are a lot of these companies that for for a very 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 small you can find companies in India who can just send it to a, a very small business of fifty users. And you can find out how many of them are actually clicking the link, how many of them are giving the credentials, and then you have to train them. Okay, okay. because let us be let us be honest that everyone will get uh, fished because it is about constantly giving attention. And in the busy, and you said, you know, Marco, right? Marco, okay. or was it Marco? Marco, yes. he's always busy. You know, he's kept yeah. busy. A person yeah. who's busy, uh, is all is at the same time he's very distracted also right I mean I, have, right. I might have so many distractions my mobile might be going so in that distraction you know if something comes uh, you know you're bound to 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 make a mistake you know humans right. do make mistakes okay right. so so uh, uh, the only way you know you can you can you can protect yourself is by basically backing up your things you know making sure that unsolicited mails right if it is unsolicited right. mails you do not you, you you do not click on any links and you know always check the link before you know you you click it okay you click it. Yeah, uh, you open it. And, yeah. and and that's pretty much what what uh, yeah. businesses have done i can talk about length and breadth because anything else will be a capital op- operation expense because and that is very very difficult okay For so sure. everything yeah. costs a lot like if you want to do z scaler organizations can do it uh it, it it really what it does is zero trust what it does is that you know if you if you are in an organization and somebody only wants to access a, a SaaS application we basically give them access to only that SaaS application it's right. user based and there's device posture. They cannot actually log in from their personal devices because you need to have a certificate based right. authentication. But everything, all that costs money. Money. Right? So Brilliant. how much do you think would um, uh, cost a small business to have all the security around, um, you know, their business so they can stay okay. safe, okay. like uh, an estimate. Uh, you know you can start uh, yeah that's a good question I it and I would say something around 
50,000 US dollars should be enough. Now I'll tell you what they need to do. They okay. need to put a perimeter firewall. They just need to do a perimeter firewall, simple perimeter for 40 gate, you know, uh, for firewall, they're cheap. You know, uh, 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 40, you 40, 40, 40, 40, 40 net. 40 net is, is, oh. a, is, is 40 net is a company. 40 oh. gate is a firewall. Okay. And 40, 40 gate, 100 they can put. It's pretty pretty bare metal and, and not that expensive. Okay. You need to put the firewall and basically you need to first by design of firewall will deny any, any, okay? So you need to just allow and, uh, you know, uh, traffic that you need to access. That's the basic firewall. So yeah. nowadays your home router would have a, a bit of, you know, it will do a bit of encryption and decryption and, and it acts as a router, it acts as a firewall. You know, you can, you can, you can do a lot of things in the, in the newer wireless routers, which is, which costs like $50, right? $50, $60 right. you're getting, which has an inbuilt firewall capability. I'm just okay. telling you for home users, I, I yeah. use a lot of these functionality at, at my home. For yourself. You know, to okay. protect for myself. Okay. okay. So, 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 but in a, in a small business, you would have to go with a, a little bit like 4800 and, and it basically, you know, you need to allow the, tra you, you, you need to set rules to allow inbound traffic and outbound traffic. That's number one. Second, you need to go with companies like McAfee or Semantic, I would say Semantic and install yeah. a, a, a EDR. What is an EDR? It is endpoint detection and response. It is basically your antivirus software. All your systems should have an antivirus software installed okay because because they will actually they will actually protect you from ransomware most of the cases where ransomware gets successful is because they do not have an antivirus software installed wow okay? so yeah. you don't have to go you don't just have to go with internet security mm -hmm. in that internet security and and it not, should not it should be actually detection and prevention both right that's, okay. Yeah. Meaning That's simple really things. Easy. I'm telling you. Yeah. Simple things. I'm telling simple you. Simple okay? things because small businesses don't have that. Yes. You know, that much second, money to invest. Second, yeah. Second. That's second. Amazing. Some okay. of some of these EDRs will help you block your USB port and Ethernet port. Block your USB port and US because what happens? The USBs are the most common and most easy, most accessible. You know, to a hacker. They, so if they put a malware in that and you basically put it in, you know, so you don't have to come through the internet. You come, you plug your USB, right. you are done, right? So there are EDRs that protect you from, you know, which will act as a DLP, data loss prevention. Right. So you can use that to actually block your USB drive on your system and you can block your Ethernet because you can also transfer data using Ethernet. But for a small company, I would say, USB because USB can be potentially crash your system and this thing if the malware gets in. Okay, that's amazing. Okay. So okay. It, this is really amazing. Some of it I don't understand it. Some of it I understand then, it. It's like, oh wow, there's so much that we don't know about. So thank you so much for shading uh, light on that. But I I want to ask you. Uh, yeah. When hackers hack and uh, do sometimes we don't know it is is there uh, a time that we might be hacked but we don't know is there a situation like that or we would know it? Yes, I, there are there are there are uh, there to 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 answer very uh, uh, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, when you are hacked, you would you would you would you would never know. Uh, yeah. and even if I'm hacked, I would not know anyone is hacked. They will not know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the only way we, we can get to know is when we have this antivirus and so on. You might've heard of, about this Israeli company called Pegasus. Okay. So they, this mm -hmm. is the company that has this, uh, no touch, you know, they can basically hack your device yeah. or iPhones or, or any device without even actually you doing anything. Wow. Are you serious? It's a no touch. Yes, yes, yes. It became a big issue around the world because a lot of these uh, political leaders were hacked. Government had 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 actually wanted to you know spy on individuals, and you don't need to do anything. You know, it it just will send you a message, uh, meaning an SMS, and that's about it. They are inside your system. You don't have to click it. You don't have to do anything. 
it's a wow. very very sophisticated hacking technique and wow. and uh, and uh, meaning this is your israeli uh, mozart right working um, and uh, wow. at the best right so right. Uh, you 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 will your all your your contacts your information your 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 phone conversations would be heard and you have no idea and you have done nothing you know you did nothing <laughs> okay they just need your mobile mobile number right and you can so to to give you a very example of no touch you know you don't yeah. have to however you know again when a state sponsored military grade hacker hacks you know you're as good as what backups you have and yeah. you know what what patching levels you have but in this case the patching will also so basically it forced microsoft to come up with a patch nice. right in 15 15.x version yeah. to actually you know stop them from gaining access but uh-huh. they did not know till it became an issue you know uh, across the globe you know uh, yeah because it was a political they had political ramification you know so it became a lot of us there was a lot of people in senate who were hacked across the globe germany france india so it became a big issue and and you know some somebody did a whistle blower right, uh, right. blew the whistle otherwise people, even even the top policy politicians were pretty much hacked and they did not know no. it so, oh my yeah. god now that makes me feel a little bit nervous and i uh, it's uh, when you were talking i'm like thinking oh what emails did i write <laughs> what what did i say on that phone conversation what text did i send so uh, yeah. that's very um interesting and then at the same time it makes your advice very valuable because uh we cannot take it lightly and we should always be diligent because they are getting you know sophisticated and smart yes. the hackers yes. it's really incredible and so some of the things that i have seen some people uh get they open um, an attachment or they open an email uh because uh you know they get email uh from social security office even we get phone calls sometimes i get phone calls or text saying that you know this is the social security and then uh, mm. They even use vo- uh, voice, very, you know, demanding voice. Uh, there's something yes. wrong with your account and you need to, right, right, you know, right. act right away. That makes you feel so, uh, you know, nervous. And you're like, oh, my God, you don't want to be in trouble with social security right. yes. or with other uh, government. But So what advice can you give for, you know, uh, regular people who fall into fraud and, you know, um, what is this uh, uh, security uh, uh, issue? <laughs> no, so my advice is that, you know, don't get, you know, defrauded. Don't be naive. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't be naive. Don't be, uh, don't, don't uh, trust, but verify. Okay. Mm-hmm. Always trust and verify. There are ways of reporting uh yeah. scams you know there are there are cyber sales and cyber you know in us you have your cisa doing a lot of work around it they have numbers please mm-hmm. report because it's not only you getting getting scammed it is also you know potentially others so you need to help so i always say the users are the first line of defense okay if you are fished you know you mm-hmm. have to have you have the value is in letting authorities know or your organization know upfront you know, we had a case a uh, couple of days back where somebody got fished, okay? Oh, wow. And we have we have automation in place that if somebody gets fished, you know, Azure, uh, you know, we call it the Azure Information Protection and, you know, uh, so AIP, it actually, you know, checks on behavioral pattern and then blocks. If, if you're constantly logging in from Bay Area and somebody tries to log in from Chicago, it will block that person to log in even though he has a credential okay right so we have automation but the problem is when we reached out to the person he was in a state of denial wow. right yeah he, he, doesn't, he, he knows he's fished yeah and we immediately went and reset the password but it took a couple of days to get him to admit that right. he actually got that email and he provided his user's credential and somebody from iran or somebody was trying to access it okay so okay. We, we, we we saw the pattern okay 
right. we could correlate it. And, and the system has aut automation in place to actually as a deterrent. Now, now people need to be to be open and they need to come out and, and report the phishing. Okay, in case it is there, there is a report phishing button. Yahoo has it, Gmail has it. Everything has a report phishing button. Why don't you do it? Sometimes I get, you know, these, these things from Pakistan and all that. I go and report. There's a button in WhatsApp where you can say report. You know, you can block this user and report it. You should always be a good, you know, cyber citizen and yeah. report this. And second mm -hmm. is that, that, yeah, you know, you never do things without stepping back. I always say, take a minute, try to understand, is it really something, meaning if there is an unsolicited person trying to tell you that, you know, hey, there's a, there's a FBI going to come with the federal tax, have you really? I mean, I I don't I don't worry about it because I paid the tax and time, right? You know why should why should I have an issue? Right. So one has to really do always pause, reflect, and then take action. But it is easier said than done, Venus. It is it is not that easy because people are constantly distracted, and yeah. all we need to we need to tell them is always focus on on the attention part. Okay, be attentive. When somebody is calling you, especially when somebody is calling you for, for, to to take money or give you money, some sometimes they say you want a lottery. You know, we're going to give you. It is called smishing. Uh, yeah. You know, wishing. You know, wishing is your voice. People calling you, and it has happened. Yeah. Enough, meaning, it happens yeah. to all of us. You know, so yeah. so uh, so it's easy money. Okay, so that's what I again go back and to the point that if somebody on the road stops you and says, "Hey, can you give me a social security number, credit card?" You would never do that. You would say, I don't know you. You know, you're so why do you do in a cyber world? Right. Right. And I have heard a lot of um um Americans, also uh, especially women, uh falling to uh, you know, some um would that also be under the, the security uh thing or is it another, is it fraud and securities is the same or how, how is that? It is, it is all cyber crime. It's, it's all a cyber security. Cyber it's security. under, it's all, uh, yeah. And okay. also, you know, they, they play on your greed. Okay. They play on your greed. They say, they, they, they tell you uh, that, you know, you're going to get X amount of money uh, and they're so convincing yeah. and they'll give you a QR code. And, and yeah. this. That's what I'm saying. You know, you need to constantly be educated that you know you QR code is to pay out money, not to get, receive money. Right. And 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 then people play on your emotions. Basically, right. you know, they're playing playing on your emotions. Right. So uh, so uh, so they they are pretty trained. Okay, like I, I you would agree that uh, per, a lawyer is trained in 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 you know uh, winning a case. Right. He he will tell right. whatever it takes, lie or. Or, or, yeah. or, you know, he lied to the court. Similarly, right. a, a HR, a HR, you know, HR personnel is trained in, you, you know, uh, human behavior. He will look for signs. He'll look at, you know, if you're high contact, are you, are you pausing? Are you, you know, so they are looking at those traits constantly, right? Right. Um, so, yeah. So, so, you know, they the, so, so hackers are, 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 are very spiritual beings. They are playing with your emotions. Uh, like you know, a lot of these spiritual godmen do, and 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 that's about it. They don't see anything, right? For they don't you, care, for, yeah. You, yeah, they don't care. Yeah. So, that's it. So everything, everything is all connected. Yeah. And 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 the lesser you are on social media, the better it is. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't, I don't. I mean, I have accounts, but I don't log in. I deleted it from my mobiles. Uh, you know, I, I, I just keep the messenger and, 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 and I would not like to have anything on my, on my mobiles. Okay. Uh, mm. because I always feel the social media people just come to lie, you know, they, they have just in a made belief world, right. They want to, mm. they might be having a lot of other issues, but it's a place where, you know, their, their other personas are being reflected, you know, um, right. so. So, uh, so you need to be very in cyber world. You need to always be careful. Think before you click. Think. Mm. I'm just saying, think before you act. Uh, any mm. user, right? And, right? and 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 that's about it. But it, hacking is very very sophisticated. 
it, right. you have to operate with the mindset that you will get hacked okay so what mm -hmm. accounts are you exposing in your in your apple pay apple wallet penny these are the things you know you should use an account where you have the least savings right mm -hmm. so so you know you should not uh, 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 you know you should not put your salary accounts there right yeah. and whatever you need to transact you just move your funds and do it so these are some ways of of protecting yeah however Oh, we should never underestimate hackers. You know, they yeah. they'll continue to evolve. They'll continue to play out with your emotions. And it is up to you to protect yourself. There's no yeah, easy there way, way of saying it. A valuable, uh, like before I have this conversation, I, I just keep reflecting within and I'm like, how how much do I worry about this on in my day? And uh, maybe 1%. And um, yes after this conversation i'm gonna think a lot and i mean in the personal level you know businesses are not safe and then in the uh governmental and then organization level hackers are everywhere um and so we need to be diligent uh, that's what I, I am hearing you say so you said something about social media so uh some uh people like me for example uh we are um you know uh, business owners and then you're a digital creator and um and then sometimes you share personal stuff or anything so how can hackers use that information against you do you know yeah, see, about that? See, 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 see uh you know in in india you know we can use hackers are using social social media you know where we are posting a lot of our personal information like give me, let me give let let me give you an example. Why I say yeah. you will not you you if you go into my uh, my my Facebook account, you know you would not see me posting that I'm going on a holiday or things because you're pretty much telling a hacker that you're not at home, mm. right? You're yes. somewhere in in Hawaii, and you know pretty much you're home, and they would actually they don't need to hack. They will provide that information to a thief, and that fellow will come and break into your house and take valuables. So oh, social wow. media is basically exposing. A lot of your personal uh, information, your location uh, in US, it's a big issue. You know, Apple is tracking location, Google is tracking location. They are saying yeah. that yeah, it's it's we are doing it for the to make the user convenient. It's all uh, I said is it's 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 a, it's 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 a way that you know organizations need to take responsibility for their actions. But it will be always debated. But once yeah. you put your vacation plans on your on the social media network or pictures of it that you are you are you are partying somewhere, you are basically yeah. telling the the world that you know your your whole house is pretty much open Empty. to. Empty. <laughs> you know what? I'm welcome. guilty of that. Are, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you are uh, inviting for trouble. Wow. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So 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 you know, I it is very important yeah. that we actually kind of mislead people. Okay. You you can you can always come back and. and why do you have to put it basically yeah why do you have to expose your personal life to the entire world once see it once you put it on a social media it is always available on the on the digital world you need to you need to be cognizant of that wow right yeah it is always available your four rows your, your your whatever information you put it okay even if you it delete even if you didn't, even, no, it's no, always no. Out it's there. always there. It's always out there. Okay. It's always, wow. once you put it, it is always out there. So, social media, if you want something to explain to a layman, you can just say you go to Hawaii, your picture, you're, you're, you're sharing your happy moments, but you're telling the world that, you know, back home, you know, please, you're, you're inviting, you know, trouble. So, it's like home alone. <laughs> yeah, it's like home alone. Right? Yeah, the movie, like home, alone. home alone. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So, wow. so, so that is that is that is home alone. At least they had to do sir do research. Okay, here in social <laughs> right? media, social media, you are just giving it away, right? Wow. In that, yeah, they had to really find out if somebody was there. They had to, you know, uh, um, do a lot of research. They were going house and house to house, right? If there was somebody there or not. But here, the moment you put it, you're putting putting a date, timestamp, location, and 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 that's about it. Uh, you know, yeah. uh, so. So this so is it's what better to, uh, yeah. Stay away. You know, you yeah. stay away from this. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Your personal life is your personal life. Your personal security your numbers are your personal security numbers. You don't give them away to anyone, especially in the in the inter in internet. 
and uh-huh. and and nowadays you know not lot of people are posing to be well you know they they will pay you know emotion right they'll they'll come and help you they'll say oh i'll get you your green card or i'll get you a us citizen you know i i, I need this money you'll, you'll you'll transfer in trust but yeah. that's it you know they'll they'll all vanish yeah thank you so much i know when uh, we started um with uh us talking because i haven't seen you in a long time uh and i i have not asked you to tell me about yourself could you uh tell our viewers who you are and what do you do okay so uh i am i am a cybersecurity enthusiast i am a technology uh, uh you know leader and an evangelist and i'm a di- digital transformation leader right uh i have uh, a lot of skills uh, competency experience in these domains and i currently i work as the uh, you know director for uh, digital transformation infrastructure it infrastructure and cyber security at west pharmaceuticals uh and you know i've worked over these two decades on various projects related to cyber security zero trust uh it infrastructure with the with the whole purpose of actually securing uh our company right from cyber attacks you know securing our assets securing our individuals uh, it is it starts from training mm-hmm. it runs from it starts from uh from putting security controls which starts from you know designing programs security programs vulnerability programs so it is it is it is a lot of it is not one thing that uh, uh helps in in securing your 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 company or your organization's network or your self network there is a combination of things and and requires a lot of collaborations right uh, people people of uh, processes and tools right to be able to all the three and right. people are the most important part of this uh of this to be successful in this journey yeah. so uh i am a constant learner on my personal side i constantly learn i read a lot on social meaning i read on linkedin i watch a lot of youtube yeah. uh, uh and and try to keep myself abreast with what is happening around the world and and you know trying to use that use my experience and the learnings to 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 add value to to my employer and 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 to all my customers all the employees all the friends that i have yeah. uh, within our organization and also you know to to our customers we share yeah. a lot of data there's a lot of yeah. exchange you need not know everything right so we 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 tie up with cisa we tie up with fbi we tie tie up with so many other organization that help us in this journey because you can i always say uh, you can never do it alone you need uh, information from all the sources you need to you know assimilate that as information and take tangible actions around it so yeah that is it uh, and you know that's and about what a, thank you what a value you brought today because i am not the same person when we <laughs> started talking in the beginning and i you know i just saw how naive i am and i need to do more diligent work to protect myself personally but also my business and uh, you know uh being always on the lookout and then the, the most um uh valuable thing you, that that hit me that you said was uh, always think that uh you are going to be hacked and yeah. uh, when you come from that mentality uh, it changes <laughs> everything right everything right, how right. how you see your everyday life and uh, i really thank you shankar you yeah. are uh really amazing and uh um uh i really am always an awe um on what you do and about this uh, um you know security uh cyber security thing that i have no knowledge about and thank you for you know inviting me in there kind of give me um a little bit you know peek on um you know what's going on and how i can protect myself how the viewers can protect themselves uh, in every level and if you could give one advice <laughs> whether it's to a person personally hearing it for themselves like uh, in their personal life or 
like as a business owner or as an organization, what would it be when it comes to cybersecurity? So I would, my advice would be always think before you click. (laughs) (laughs) Always think before you click. I love that. (laughs) So thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, you know, for this opportunity. Uh, It was a pleasure talking to you as, as always, you know, interacting with you. And I'm always available if you, if you need me to, you know, talk more in detail as to, you know, what small businesses, what large organizations uh, can do with minimum budgets. You know, I do understand cybersecurity is always a cost center. You always need money to, to secure things. Yeah. However, there are, there are smart ways of doing it. And it's a huge topic. You know, I can speak for hours and hours right. and days. Uh, however, you know, uh, as I said, just remember pub and kiss, right? Keep it simple. And, patch. And, <laughs> uh, yeah. and, and you know the unsolid you know do not click on unsolicited uh, attachments or emails and mm-hmm. and take backups right so if you keep these two things in mind you know you would you would any user will be safe and 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 uh you know would would be able to recover uh as i said everyone can be hacked anytime but they will yeah. have the ability to to to, to to detect, prevent, in case right. they are ha- hacked, respond and recover, right? So this basically Perfect. covers all yeah. the missed five core domains, right? Or core, core areas. Okay. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you. And have, have a good, good weekend. Thank you.